Hi, it's Kevin from AppLand. I'm here to introduce a new tool called AppMap Swagger. You've probably heard of Swagger. It's a specification language for web service APIs. When you describe your web services in Swagger, you can take advantage of some useful features. You get auto-generated API docs. You can send requests to your app through an auto-generated UI. And you can auto-generate client code. But Swagger is pretty big and complex to write, and it's easy for the Swagger to get out of sync with actual code behavior. AppMap Swagger eliminates the need to manually write Swagger. It works by generating Swagger directly from your test cases. It doesn't just look at your tests, though. That's not enough information to generate Swagger. It actually runs them. It sees every request, every mime type, every parameter, every header, and every response. This information is generated by recording your test cases using a Ruby gem called AppMap. AppMap Swagger transforms all the web services information from AppMaps into Swagger format. If you add another gem called rswagui to the mix, you can surf Swagger directly from your app. You can open one tab with your app and another tab with the Swagger UI and make requests using both tabs sharing the same user session. This is great for debugging and for trying out new API functions. AppMap Swagger actually generates two Swagger files. The first file, openapi.yaml, contains as much information as possible, including descriptions obtained from code comments. The second file is openapi stable. It omits the most volatile data. The stable Swagger is great for dipping the web services API in pull requests and code reviews. So try using AppMap Swagger as you work. As you write your code and run test cases, Regenerate app maps by running the tests with app map equals true. Then run app map swagger. Push the work in progress swagger files up to your code repo. I create a draft pull request as soon as I start coding. That way everyone can see what I'm doing as I work. OpenAPI stable.yaml gives people a great view of any web services changes that I'm making. That makes the eventual code review of my pull request a lot easier, and it helps make sure that my changes to the web services API don't break anyone else's code. That's a really quick tour of AppMap Swagger. To learn more, check out the repo or find it on RubyGems. Thanks for watching.